Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my plan with me for the week of February 26th through March 4th and I honestly just want to say really quickly that I cannot believe that we are moving into March already. I feel like February went by so fast and I know there's like less days in the month but still like January felt like a whole year on its own and then February just flew by and I'm just like in disbelief that we are in March already. But anyways, I have this really gorgeous kit from Case Stickers Co for this week and she kindly sent this to me as a gift to try out and I've just been holding on to this for quite some time probably almost a year now um, and I was going to use it in January originally because I feel like these florals and this like silver glitter accent is just like so perfect for winter but um, I just didn't have time to squeeze in this kit in January. So I'm deciding to use it for this week because it's um, actually been really, really cold here in Southern California. I feel like this is probably one of the coldest weeks that we are going to have. For one, it's going to rain twice this week, which is so much because we usually... Um, hardly get any rain at all but yeah it's supposed to rain on tuesday and friday and then um it's also just been pretty chilly like we're getting lows of like 40s um which yeah to us here is like not heard of so um i feel like this kind of cold wintry kit is really really perfect for this week and so um i will go over the sheets in this kit really quickly um, it does come with a sheet of these fine glitter headers. We've got the full boxes and some of the date covers on the bottom. Here we have the washi and the washi strips. We've got little things, half boxes, icons, and flags. Here we have all the little things, some sidebar trackers, a three heart checklist, bill do, and a weekend banner. And then this last sheet has um, heart checklists and then the rest of the date covers as well as a habit tracker in um, this little corner. So that is everything the kit comes with. Lots of stickers to work with. And if you're interested in seeing me plan with this kit, um, go ahead and stay tuned and I will explain everything as I go along. For my bottom washi this week, I decided I wanted to layer the Scotch brand um, glitter washi on top of the bottom washi that came in the kit because I just really wanted to pull in some more of that silver um, and it really worked well with the kit. I was really happy with how it turned out. So I just cut a really thin strip of that washi and just put it right there at the top and I do the same thing on both sides and I am using my new slice X-Acto knife cutter that I've seen lots of planner girls use and I really, really enjoy using it. I think the stickers always cut really well and I haven't really cut through my planner page, so that has been nice. So for my full box this week, um, I usually like to have a quote box in the top corner, and this kit did not come with a full box, so I decided to write one in myself. Because it was going to be raining this week, um, well, at least on two days, I decided to write in the quote that says, without rain, nothing grows, just kind of as a reminder that it's important to have rain um, every now and then. And I think in Southern California, as much as we don't know how to deal with the rain, I mean, like traffic is just awful every time it rains. I think we all understand the importance of it because we do tend to have um, droughts due to lack of rain. So anyways, once I finished with that, I put down a strip of the silver washi and then I used a habit tracker to track my running. I then put down a this week um, header with a heart checklist and I was kind of trying something new with my sidebar. I wanted to kind of make a master list of things I had to get done throughout the week that weren't day specific. And then I put down a dinner's header with a Monday through Sunday tracker from the kit and closed out the extra space at the bottom with a piece of washi. Next, I cut up some flags for my top corner and the kit didn't really come with any flags. I just cut up like, I think it was actually like a three heart checklist that just happened to um, be kind of empty in the middle and I didn't think I was going to use those checklists so I just cut them up into flags and then I decided to lay down my date covers and I found these little date dots from I want to say those are from Ruby Trev and I just pulled those in on top of the date covers. And then for Monday, I started by putting a today header at the top. That coffee cup is actually a leftover from the kit I used last week from Very Jenny Co. And the Coffee Monday script sticker is from Paper and Milk. I had a morning meeting and so I used a quarter box, or I'm sorry, a half box with a uh, paper clip bow sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark that. And then I put a to-do header with a full box, but I ended up switching out the to-do header for a dark blue one because I just wanted some pop of color. And the heart checklist that I just put down is actually from another kit. It was a leftover and the color just matched pretty well. 
I then used a strip of the silver washi as a header. The Happy Mail sticker is from Very Jenny Co. And then I kind of worked backwards just to make sure I had space for everything. At the bottom, I used a couple strips of washi and layered over it a film sticker from Love Shira because I did do some filming that night. And then we watched Grace and Frankie, so I put down ATV from Sparkly Studio. I then switched things up a little bit by making the washi strip at the bottom a little skinnier so that it didn't feel so crowded. And then I moved the TV icon to the other side um, because I realized that the envelope and the camera are both on the left. And so I wanted to switch it up by putting the TV on the right. Hopefully that all made sense. And now for Tuesday, I started by using a glitter washi at the top. I used another paperclip bow from Planner Frenzy. And then I put down a to-do header with a heart checklist that was from the kit. To mark an IEP meeting that I had in the afternoon, I used a half box with an IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs. That's it for Tuesday, so I move on to Wednesday. I started by putting down a to-do header at the top, and then I used a full box with a heart checklist. Again, those are um, from a leftover kit. I did have some leftover space on the full box, so I put down a alarm clock icon to mark a meeting that I had that day. And then I had another meeting afterwards, so initially I put down a half box, but then um, after looking at everything, I wanted to add a glitter washi um, in that middle section of the day, so I stuck that down and then I replaced the half box with the IEP sticker and then I had another IEP after that so I used another IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. On Thursday, I started by putting down a bill due sticker at the bottom of the day because I wanted to remind myself that I had to pay rent and my credit card. And then I moved back to the top. I put down a glitter washi at the top with a heart checklist. And then I used a today header with a full box. I ended up switching out the glitter washi for a today header instead because I felt like that was just so much silver glitter, um, in one area and it was just a little bit too much. So anyways, then I removed the header in the middle of the day. I just used a full box by itself with an IEP sticker. And then the girl on the laptop is from Planner Perks. And actually I've never used those before. And they're so cute to mark just working on reports on my laptop. So I was really glad I got to pull those in. I replace the silver washi underneath that and then I move on to Friday. So Friday I started by using another strip of silver washi and then I put down a half box with balloons from Kylie and Chaos to mark that it was Friday and I was just excited that we are nearing the weekend. I then used a small strip of washi from the kit with a coffee sticker from, I want to say those are from Planner Frenzy to mark that I got coffee in the morning as I usually do on Fridays. And then I used a to-do header with a heart checklist that was also from a left leftover kit. Uh, for the weekend, I decided to pull in my own weekend banner instead of using the one from the kit. And this one is so cute. It says, yes, the weekend. And that's from Little Red Prince. And I love that because it's just so how I feel about the weekend. Um, I looked at my spread and I decided that there was, I didn't really like this silver box on Wednesday. And so I switched it out for a, I think it's like a purple half box instead. I just felt like it was a little bit less glaring and um, I like that a little bit better. So that's it with everything I could pre-plan. Now I'm just moving on to memory planning, the things that have happened in my personal life. So moving back to Tuesday, I put down a full box at the bottom with a today header on top. And then we just watched some TV. So I put down a munchkin watching TV, um, which matched the kit really well because that TV is dark blue. And then for Wednesday, I put down a washi strip. And then I used a shoe sticker from Planning in Mint to mark that I actually went on an afternoon run. Very proud of myself. And then underneath that, I decided to use the silver half box that I had taken up earlier and I covered up what I had written on it with a noodle sticker from a happy blue tree. I actually just got those in the mail because I um, ran out of the noodle stickers and I love hers and so I haven't hauled those yet but I definitely had to already use one just because we got ramen that night. On Thursday, I actually went running again. I put down a mile time sticker from Love Shira, and then the shoe sticker is from Planner Frenzy. I wrote in my mile time currently, and then we did date night afterwards. So I used a date night sticker from K Stickers Co. with a bow from Fox and Pip. I then fill things out in my sidebar and I actually didn't really like the weekly to-do list in my sidebar. I didn't find it very functional. I didn't really get to any of those things. So I actually don't end up doing that again for the following week. 
And then for Friday, I started by using a little things at the bottom to mark our TV show. And then um, I cut down a full box so that it would fit in the in the remaining space. That balloon sticker is from Ruby Trev. It came in a sampler and it matched so perfectly. I was so happy I had that. And Friday, we actually attended a friend's like surprise birthday party. And that was really fun because he honestly had no idea. His wife planned the whole thing. And it was really cute to watch his reaction when he walked in. So we got dinner with our friends and then we went to this ice cream place afterwards and I actually wrote the name of the ice cream place wrong um, it was actually called drilled but for some reason I wrote in drizzled and I couldn't really white out the full box so I just left it like I know that that's the wrong name and the ice cream sticker is from oh so fun then moving on to Saturday, I started by putting down a full box there at the top. I layered a half box over that and stuck a yoga girl sticker. And that is from Miscellany Boulevard, I think. I got those a long time ago, but it's actually my first time using that sticker because I haven't done yoga in a really long time. But yeah, I went to do yoga with a friend and then we got dim sum afterwards. So that dim sum sticker, which is so cute, is from Happy Daya stickers. And the color actually doesn't match the kit at all, but I really wanted to use that sticker so I just kind of overlooked that fact. Um, we went and got boba afterwards so I cut up a washi strip into a little flag and the boba sticker is from a happy blue tree. And then I did a little checklist to mark the things that we did. I put down a littles header and then cut up a heart checklist into three. The record sticker is from Love Shira. And then I found this like little grocery shopping bag sticker from Sparkly Studio that was perfect to pull into that space. At the end of the night, my friends and I went to this cute little speakeasy that um, was super cool inside. I really like that place. And so I marked that with a drink sticker, which is from, I think it's from Hello Cupcake Plants. I'm not sure that the shop is open anymore. I got those quite a while ago, but the blue just really matched the kit. So I definitely wanted to use that. And then moving on to Sunday, we had breakfast at home. So I put down this little fried egg sticker, which is a sampler from um, Plants with Vanessa. And then I did uh, watch YouTube for quite some time. Time. So I put down a laptop sticker from Love for Stickers, whose shop is no longer open. And just to mark that it was YouTube, I put a little like YouTube play button in it. And I thought that was a really cute idea. I then moved to the bottom of my spread. I put down a full box there. And then I realized that on Saturday, I forgot to use one of my silver washi strips. And so I replaced the to-do header with a silver washi. And then on Sunday, back to Sunday, I put down a silver washi with a heart checklist to mark the errands that we did. We had quite a lot, quite a few places to go to and um, just like things that we had to do. And to mark all those things, I put down a um, shopping princess from Paper Princess Plans. And again, I think that sticker just match this kit so well because that girl is wearing a navy blue skirt and then at the end of the night we just kind of relaxed and got ready for the week so I put down a sleeping mask sticker from I want to say Laban Forest and then I just put relax because that's pretty much what we did for the end of the night um, just watch some tv and uh, relaxed so anyways I finished filling in my sidebar and that is it for this week's spread I'm showing you all the stickers that I have left I do have quite a few things left over um, although I did use all the full boxes which is good so anyways this is how the spread turned out and honestly I love this so much I was getting a little sick of pinks towards the end of February and this like bright blue color scheme was just like such a breath of fresh air and again was so perfect for this week because it ended up being really cold as predicted um, so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this it was so fun to use this kit and write in my own quote and everything and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye